Welcome back to the channel. Adam Stack was kind enough to send me this Adam Stack P7 model of the engraver. It's a portable engraver. It is a small one, but it does pack a punch. And what I'm going to do is do the review backwards, actually show you how it works and how it does on different materials. And then uh, second half of the video, I'll show you how to install it. It is a P7 M30 model, uh, 30 watt. So off the bat I'm going to do engraving on a MDF sheet and I'm going to engrave my logo. did speed up the video a little bit but the machine does let you do different settings uh, for engraving as well as cutting and here as you can see it did a great job on MDF. I'm quite happy with that. Next I'm going to try and engrave this plywood plate I had made. If you haven't seen the video on this uh, there is a link in the description that shows you how I made that plate. So I'm going to engrave the back of the plate with my logo again and uh, as you'll see it did a great job on plywood as well. On this test I did a couple of passes with the engraver at a low power just to try out different settings and I think it came out quite good. Okay next test is to see how the engraver does at cutting plywood. This is a 1 8 inch ash plywood and if you're interested in buying the plywood I'll put a link in the description of the video. The software I'm using does let you trace out the X and Y coordinates before you actually cut the plywood. For this test I was going at almost 100% power um, at a slow speed with multiple passes. And as you can see there is a little bit of charring but uh, it did a good job. I did have to sand down the wood a little bit but as you can see it did a fairly good job on a hard piece of uh, plywood. Atom Stack does sell various different models of their engravers with different power ratings so if you're interested I'll put a link in the description of the video uh, so check it out. Next I'm going to try and engrave a piece of leather a scrap piece of leather that I've had lying around for a while now. I'm going to try and make a luggage tag out of it and we'll see how it goes. First I'm going to set up the machine before we start engraving. As you can see, uh, it does a great job on leather. I'm quite impressed with that. I might have to play with the settings. Maybe it's too dark and lower the power. The lettering and the graphic came out nice. Maybe I'll have to lower the power a little bit, but overall very impressive. Off camera I used a knife to cut out the tag shape and I think it came out really nice. Next I'm going to cut paper with the engraver and on this test I'm going at a high speed with uh, very low power. As you can see it did a great job no burning at all on the paper. And I use the cutout to make a greeting card. For the next test I did engraving on a hard dark plastic sample that came with the machine. And as you can see the engraver did a great job on this. Adam Stack did send a number of samples with the machine and I'm going to do a test on this plywood, square plywood that they had sent. I believe it's a soft plywood and we'll see how it goes on that.
I am using laser GRBL software which is free to download and works with Atomstack P7 machine without any issues. This is my very first laser engraver. I've never used one before. So from unpacking the box to engraving, it only took a couple hours. As you can see, it cut out the letters pretty good. I think my power setting was a bit high and left a little bit of charring, but not a problem. I sanded it down with the sandpaper. As you can see, it does cut out small parts really well. Those are tiny letters that it cut out. We are a small channel and if you're enjoying the content, please consider subscribing. It costs nothing and it really helps us out. On this part of the video, I'll show you how to put the machine together and you'll see it's really easy. I'll be honest, the instruction booklet could have been better. Uh, it did have pictures and numbering, but it could have been better. All the stuff inside the box was well packaged. Very impressed with the packaging. And the small parts came with step numbers that matches the instructions, which was also useful. It does come with a cable to connect your computer to the machine. I would have preferred the cable to be a little bit longer. Connecting the x-axis and the y-axis was easy. The extrusion has slots for the wheels to roll against. And uh, they did roll very smoothly. I was impressed with that. If you are interested in this machine or any other Atom Stack machine for engraving, uh, check out the description of the video. I'll put some links in there. And like I said before, they have different types of models for different needs, so check it out. The trickiest part of the whole assembly for me was the timing belt. You just have to read the instructions a couple times and make sure you do it right. Instead of talking about it, I'm just going to show you how to put the belt on.
Just make sure that the belt is on tight and not too loose. As always, if you enjoyed the video, leave a comment, tell us what you liked, what you didn't like, and if you haven't, please subscribe to the channel. We'll see you again soon. Thanks.